Ever worried, ever wondered different ways that you could put vegetables together really quickly? Roasting is simple, easy, but maybe you get tired of it. Maybe you want something a little bit zippier. Well, here is one that just fits the bill. Hi, I'm Nika Waters and welcome to Tasty Thursday. I'm gonna show you how to steam broccoli with a little bit of a twist. Simple, easy, and absolutely infinitely expandable, which I love. First thing you need is broccoli or some other vegetable. This works really well with um, slightly harder vegetables, broccoli, carrots, uh, cauliflower, um, peppers. This is the basis for a great stir fry. You're taking broccoli and I'm cutting it into sort of bite-sized pieces. The bigger you make them, the longer they're going to take to cook. That's sort of standard. So you want to make them kind of all the same size though. That's sort of the trick. So you don't want to have ones that are hugely different in size than others. I am actually going to use the stalks and the way that you use the stalks, I cut off the super hard tough ends. I'm actually going to peel these. And then I'm going to cut these actually into bits. If you wanted to do broccoli as part of a vegetable tray, the stalks actually make a fabulous addition to it and nobody will know what they are. Uh, but you do the same thing. You peel them and then um, cut them into bits. You want a frying pan that has a tight fitting lid. I'm going to very lightly saute these and then steam them to finish them cooking. So you're not using a ton of oil. Uh, but it does give it that kind of crisp, tender piece to it. So Basically, I want to give these stems just a little bit of a head start on the florets. Okay, and then once these have gotten a little bit of a head start, I'm actually going to pour in the broccoli. Now comes a little bit of the trick, and I am actually, I'm going to give it about four more grinds of salt. You do not have to use salt. You could use a salt-free seasoning. You could use nothing at all. So it's starting its sort of stir-fry piece. I'm actually going to move the broccoli aside a little bit and put in three cloves of garlic. So if you don't like garlic, don't use garlic. It's really cool. And then I'm going to stir this around to mix the garlic in a half a cup of water, pour it on, cover. In about two minutes, I'm going to have the most beautiful, bright, gorgeous green, perfectly crisp, tender broccoli, and it doesn't take very long. Not putting the top back on it. If I put the top back on it, I'm going to wind up with kind of gray broccoli. I'm leaving it out to have it nice, be nice and green and gorgeous. So there you have it, a really easy way to make vegetables. It's a little more involved than roasting. Sure, I did something more than just toss it with olive oil and salt and pepper and throw it in a pan, but this expands your possibilities absolutely tremendously because you can mix different kinds of vegetables, do all kinds of things, and you've got crisp, tender, amazing vegetables that will brighten up your plate incredibly. Happy, happy, tasty Thursday. If you like what you've seen, press like, tag a friend you think should see it. Share it with somebody who loves vegetables and wants to know a different way to try them. And don't forget to subscribe. You would not want to miss one of these. We're coming up on the third anniversary of Tasty Thursday. I'll see you back here next week. Uh, I'm loving this with Tasty Thursday because people are actually starting to ask me about recipes that they want me to show them how to do. So I'm so excited. Thanks, Mariah. You're the one who inspired this one. Uh, you were asking about vegetables. Roasted vegetables are certainly simple, but here's another way that's also fantastic.